an unprecedented sign of solidarity and support, the EU delegation is coming to Kyiv for the EU-Ukraine summit. Among many issues on the agenda, Ukraine's EU accession. Now, Brussels is set to encourage Kyiv to continue the reforms needed for the EU membership, whilst Kyiv wants to get more details and more clarity on when would that happen, given that Ukraine has been implementing some of these reforms while at the same time defending itself for almost one year now. The EU-Ukraine summit is all about both sides managing their expectations. Na primeira reunião de líderes desde que foi concedido à Ucrânia o estatuto de candidato, a discussão centra-se na adesão do país ao UE, explicava Olha Stefani China, a ministra para a Integração Europeia e Euroatlântica da Ucrânia. It's all very complicated because membership in European Union is a combination of accomplishment of the country, but also the political will uh, of the leaders to take this decision. So it's it's like a very multi-layer process. But the the major contribution Ukraine can make to make sure that this decision is taken as soon as possible is making sure that we are prepared for this window of opportunities. So that's why we advocate for uh, opening the accession talks or reaching the political consensus on that already this year. O primeiro-ministro ucraniano estabeleceu um calendário de dois anos para garantir a adesão à UE, mas isso não depende apenas da Ucrânia. We understand that within the European Union there are differences when it comes to the speed of our accession. And we understand that, that's something we recognize, and we're in the midst of having these negotiations. Whether it's realistic that we'll join in two years, I'm not going to be the judge making that statement. But look, when we look at the history of the European Union, the negotiation process can take years. Kiev espera que não sejam precisas décadas para cumprir este desejo.